everyone and welcome to my shed. Now if you have an interest in Honda C90s, and I guess you have, that's why you've tuned into this YouTube channel, um, hopefully this will be of interest to you, particularly if you've got one of these, and that's the Honda C90 6 volt. Now a problem I often read about on the forums that people have with these is the the low voltage six volts people talk about problems with the battery becoming discharged they have to replace the battery too often maybe the indicators are running too slow or when they switch the indicators on even the engine may cut out and all sorts of problems to do with the voltage and a a quick fix if you like or a trick that is often referred to is this one whereby you've got the stator that, like this that's on your six volt you've got six coils and the suggestion is that you get the white wire and the yellow wire that comes off the stator join them together and then you plug the yellow wire with the yellow wire on your loom leaving the white wire free and what this does is brings into play the two lighting coils there uh, which generates that extra energy around the, the system. Even when the lights are switched off, you've got that, the lights from the coil still going around, which sounds great. Um, but there are problems with that. Um, the problems being that the battery itself is what only a small six volt battery, no bigger than a couple of torch batteries, very low capacity. Uh, there's no regulator on these bikes. So you imagine uh, on long journeys and high revs, the amount of current going into your battery must be quite high. I've never actually done that little modification, that little trick myself, but I should imagine with the revs high and the lights off for extended periods of time that the voltage uh, must be quite considerable going into that little battery and it's soon going to fry isn't it and perhaps damage other components in there however there's a much better way of getting extra voltage into your system than that little trick and that's where I'd like to talk to you and demonstrate to you today Now one of the nice features about the early 6 volt C90 is the front lamp at the front. Quite different from the later 12 volt models where you just have the one front headlight. On the 6 volts you have the two. And um, it really sets off the bike nicely, I think you'll agree. But there's more to that pilot light than just good looks. Okay then, uh, just going back to the pilot light then and how it affects the charging system on the bike. The best way for us to look at that and how it does affect it is by looking at the battery itself because it's the battery that tells us the story. So let's do that. I'll just get the camera. And as you can see, I've got a little voltmeter attached to the battery directly, and it's reading 6.5 volts, which shows that this battery is in good fettle. So what do you expect when I switch the engine on and uh, rev the engine? Let's have a look. So just turn the ignition on. As you can see the voltage has gone from 6.5 to it's just over 7 volts on tick over. So that shows us that the, the battery is being charged up on tick over. Now what can we expect if the, the lights are put on? What will happen to that voltage? Well let's have a look. Let's switch the lights on. Uh, 
as you can see the the main beams on but look what's happened to the voltage the voltage has now dropped to below six volts it's now gone down to five nine so we can see that the the headlight is drawing quite a bit of current away from the battery there uh, which we would expect now here comes the interesting thing when I put the pilot light on which engages both the, the front lamp there and also the rear lamp what would you expect the voltage to do? well let's have a look shall we I will engage the pilot light So as you can see the pilot light is on and the rear the rear light is on. But look what's happened to the voltage. It's on 8.2. The voltage is actually gone up, not down as you would expect. Okay then, so if you want more current flowing through into your battery, um, the best thing to do is put your pilot light on. There's simply no need to butcher your wires by cutting white wires and yellow wires. Um, just switch your pilot light on, it will do the trick. Now, on the subject of getting more current circulating around your 6 volt system, and helping your battery there's a few little things that um, I found helpful over the years one of them is um, to do your fuse holder there you'll find that uh, behind your battery on the positive wire there's an inline fuse like something like that and uh, I was getting intermittent electrical problems when I first had this bike and it, I found out the problem to be the terminals on the fuse they were rusty corroded so watch out for that make sure that both ends of that those terminals are clean the other thing to watch out for uh, is is the spring behind the fuse itself if that spring is weak and not pushing that fuse to make the correct connection then the um, current flow again is going to be intermittent and you're going to get problems so that's one thing to look out for. Um, the other thing to look out for is this here, your left hand switch gear. Uh, many problems associated with electrical faults stem from that. And um, so you need to have all the contacts and terminals in there squeaky clean. And what I've done in the past is um, took the switch gear off, opened it up, cleaned it with a toothbrush and a bit of isopropanol and then um, give it a little spray of WD-40 uh, and I found that, that that cured the problem. Another area to, to watch out for is behind the headlight itself. Um, that's where the loom comes together as it were and there's lots of little bullet connectors in there that uh, if they're not tight and clean uh, again will cause you problems so uh, make sure all the contacts are nice and tight and clean and uh, if you do that then as regards running problems they should diminish quite considerably if you get your electrical system up to date as it were <clears throat> so that's it folks i hope you found the video useful um, if you want more energy, put your pilot light on. I just wish I'd got one on top of my head sometimes.